In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to Cloudflare pages. And I'm going to explain this step by step in plain English so you can understand and complete this task. Now, this is going to be a very easy and simple tutorial to follow. So let's go ahead and start. So first, you'll probably be on the Cloudflare homepage. What you need to do is scroll down go to compute workers, then go workers and pages. Once you've clicked on this, you've probably already got a deployment on Cloudflare. You've already got an app that you want to connect your domain to, an app or website. So I'm gonna click on visit, and what I would recommend is you do that too on yours. Now mine is a very simple to-do list, and you can see the URL here, to do video.pages.dev. We're gonna connect our custom hosting a domain to this but I would just keep this open because it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So once you've done that, go to your Hostinger domain. So go to Hostinger, go into the back end and find the domain that you want to connect. So here we are on the domains. I'm gonna use this one here, knowledgebaseonline.com. So you can go ahead and click on the domain that you want to connect and it's gonna take you into the back end. Now, once you're on the back end of this domain, what you would wanna do is just copy it because obviously copy it, make sure it's correct. Then we can go back to Cloudflare and add it. So click inside of your deployment and go then to custom domains. And here you can see add a custom domain for your site. Click set up custom domain and then paste in your domain here. Very, very simple stuff. Click continue. And it's then going to tell you you can get started with Cloudflare DNS. So click begin DNS transfer and it will open up this new window and this new dashboard. From here, paste in your domain again once more. Then you can keep it on quick scan for DNS records, but we're going to have to manually add them anyway. So just leave this on default recommended. Click continue and then choose your plan. So I'm going to choose the free plan. We'll select this plan and then it should load. And it's going to show us all of the DNS records here from the domain. We're going to have to add our own anyway, as well as change the name servers and then finish the setup. So this can all be done in around five or six minutes once you've got to this point. Okay, so it's gonna say here that our scan has missed some uncommon records, which is fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add these anyway. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and add a CNAME record. Now you've probably already got records which are CNAME records with the name www. Now if you have any conflicting records, you are gonna need to delete them. So here I have a CNAME www record which I'm going to delete because we are going to add a www and an at record. So let's just go ahead and do this now. So first go add record, type C name, and then first we'll type www. And this is going to redirect or connect www.yourdomain.com to, and then in the target, you need to just copy your URL here of the app that you want to connect. So it should be very easy. We can then paste this in here. Now remove any of these dashes, we just want the raw domain. So to do video.pages.dev, then click save. If you've got a conflicting domain, which is www, that's why you would want to delete it. But now we've got CNAME, www, which is going to to do video.pages, which is fine, that is our app. Now we'll do the same thing, we'll go add record, and we need to add one more record, CNAME, name, at, and this is gonna be for the root domain, and then for target, we paste in this exact same target of the current app or website. Then you go ahead and click on save, and that is then going to add that in a second. Here you can see it says it already exists, so let's go and find it. So it's looking like it is this A record here, which we can go ahead and delete, and then we can go ahead and add it again. There you go, so now it's gone through. So now we've got both of these records, which are going to the content of our website. Now it's going to say invalid name servers. It's going to say that from the start anyway. You can go to the overview page and we need to add the name servers now in Hostinger. So it's going to say replace your current name servers with Cloudflare name servers. So go to Hostinger, then go ahead and click DNS slash name servers. You see here the current name servers, there'll be name servers which are default to Hostinger. Click change name servers, change name servers, and then you need to copy in the Cloudflare ones. So copy this, paste it in here. So that's name server number one. Copy name server number two, paste it in name server number two, click save, and then there you go, your name servers have now been changed. So once you've added the name servers, 
You can then go back to the home page and you're nearly done from here, so don't worry. And you can see it should now be active, it should be recognized on the dashboard, the name servers should have now connected. Now if you go to compute workers, workers and pages, you then click on your app here. You then go to custom domains, then set up a custom domain and you can go ahead and type www.yourdomain.com, click continue and then confirm these new DNS records and click activate domain. You can then do the same thing, go back to add custom domain and type in your domain here without the www, click continue and activate these record changes as well. Now we've already added these records, well it's not going to do anything because we've already added them manually. This is how I like to do it and this is what will work. So now we are verifying this and it's initializing this and we really now just need to wait. So you can see www.yourdomain.com is working. So we'll copy this and we'll see if it has propagated already. There you go. So this one works. Do note though, it can take up to 48 hours like it says here. There you go. The second one is working as well. So let's check yourdomain.com and there you go. That one works as well. So that might have been a bit complicated, but just rewatch this video a couple of times. And there are basically three main things you need to do. Add the domain, the DNS records, the name servers, and then I guess the fourth one, go back to custom domains and just enter them in here. So that's how you do it. I hope that was simple. Let me know if you've got any comments down below and also comment if it worked. Thank you.